Hi, and welcome to Bible Bites. Today, we're going to talk about grass. No, just kidding, but kind of. Have you ever worried about something, something that you can't control? Have you ever thought about situations that stress you out? Well, today we're going to look at a passage and see what Jesus has to say about that exact thing. So let's study it together. Let's look at Luke chapter 12, verses 23 through 34. For life is more than food, and the body more than clothing. Consider the ravens, they neither sow nor reap, they have neither storehouses nor barn, and yet God feeds them. Of how much more value are you than the birds? And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life? If then you are not able to do as small a thing as that, why are you anxious about the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass, which is alive in the field today, and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O you of little faith? And do not seek what you are to eat and what you are to drink, nor be worried, for all the nations of the world seek after these things. Your Father knows that you need them. Instead, seek his kingdom, and these things will be added to you. Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom, sell your positions, and give to the needy. Provide yourself with money bags that do not grow old, with a treasure in heaven that does not fail, where no thief approaches and no moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. So I love this passage because it's Jesus talking to his disciples, which is also applicable to us because if we are followers of Christ, we're his disciples as well. We can really take this advice to heart because we know that God knows everything that we need. We don't have to worry about things. So if I were to break this down into three different points, I would call it don't worry, don't want, and do win. So let's jump into that first one. Don't worry. What does worry do? Jesus himself says that it doesn't add anything to our lives. So why do we do it? Because it takes the focus off of God and puts it on ourselves. Worry says, God, I'm not trusting you with this situation. I can do it somehow by me stressing out about it. It's going to change something about my circumstances, which isn't true. Worry doesn't add a single hour to our lives, and it's really hard not to worry sometimes, especially when it seems like the world is falling apart. I get that. (laughs) But Jesus tells us in this passage not to worry, so let's try and practice that this week. Next is don't want. I love that God uses so many different examples Um, Jesus says, like, the birds of the air are taken care of, the grass is clothed more beautifully than Solomon, and we just planted our yard last week, and I'm trying not to worry about whether or not the grass is going to grow, because I'm like, God created grass to grow a certain way, he taught us how to take care of it, I'm just going to let it do its thing. See, I told you we were going to talk about grass, (laughs) just a little bit. So don't want, sometimes we worry about the things that we want or need. This passage says the whole world seeks after these things, but God knows what we need. He knows that we need food and shelter and clothing. So let's not worry about those things. Don't want for those things because God knows that we need them. I'm not saying don't be prepared, but don't go crazy or overboard either. And then the last point, which is my favorite, is do win. Jesus says to seek his kingdom and the rest of these things will be added to us, not to worry about the rest of it. So what is God's kingdom? His things in his kingdom are eternal, which are people. People are going to last forever. Things are not. God wants us to seek his kingdom, to be giving the good news to our neighbors and our family members and our friends. Especially in the time we're living in, people are going to be looking for hope. Let's share the gospel with people and not worry about the things that are taking the focus off of our, off of Jesus. Let's take the focus off ourselves for a little while and share the gospel with people. 
So I have a challenge for you guys this week. I want you to get on Facebook, text a friend, somehow connect with somebody outside the house and share the gospel with them. Now you could do this in uh, sharing a Bible verse and starting a spiritual conversation. You could see if um, what their history with Christianity is. See where the conversation goes and share the gospel in that. You might be surprised how open people are. Now smash the like button, hit subscribe. Don't forget to ring the little bell so that you are notified when we're having new videos out. And I'll see you guys next time.